Hi, I'm Dave Gardner from the Costa Mesa Historical Preservation Committee, and this is 50 Years and Still, a program where we highlight and recognize Costa Mesa businesses that have been operating for more than 50 years. Today, we're taking a look at Hoover Printing, a full-service printing company who uses the latest in technology to achieve the highest quality for the lowest price. We do business cards for companies and stationery. We do that for customers either locally or across the nation, along with greeting cards. Christmas time, we get a lot of walk-in traffic that order Christmas cards for themselves. We even had people who've even moved to China and still want us to do their Christmas cards. So we do them and ship them in Hawaii and stuff like that. So it's kind of neat. And we do bigger projects, you know, we even do photo albums, hardcover books, soft cover books, brochures, just about anything that you would print on paper. The printing uh, shop existed before me. I bought it from a, a couple that was retiring. It was called Fletcher Printing. His name was Bill Fletcher. I wound up buying the business in 1964. This building that I purchased initially was actually built three different times. I've got three meters, it was three meters when I bought the place because each time they added a portion of the building, they added another meter. So that was kind of interesting. We would try for today, but... we can get our 20% discount. You definitely can. Over the years, I can't even count the number of people I've, I've had in here. It's been, I think, a hundred. Uh, right now, there's only six of us. Four of us are family. I come in as a kid, help out little things here and there after school, uh, sweep floors, run some machines, whatnot. So it's kind of been in the blood for a long time. Well, I wasn't a businessman, grew up on a farm, learned how to work. Over time, I would talk to salesmen who had been printers prior to their sales job. So I kind of learned that way, just trial and error. I think the secret of my dad's success is he's a go-getter. He's asked questions, figure out how to do things, and just taking it from there. And that's what he had to do here for, you know, the first two years, I understand, he never took a vacation day. He worked every day for two years to just kind of learn instead of go out of business. And so that's really been a credible thing to see. Everybody here has worked for many years, and so we work great together. Everyone has a wider knowledge of different things, and because we have less staff or more streamlined so we have crossover training so people can uh, take up the slack if someone is missing that day or just be more efficient if we're really busy in one area and not another area so it's helped to have uh, people who have great attitudes and uh, willing to help out to get the job done. It's been a good, a good business to have. I've really enjoyed it and uh, I would do it again. And to have my family here is just a plus. And I've got another generation here now that's going to continue on. We pride ourselves in quality work and, and uh, giving the customer the best thing we possibly can. And Using inkjet technology, which is relatively new to the printing industry, we're able to print high-speed envelopes, variable data, which means every envelope can be a different address or information. A PDF file is what we use for printing almost anything you print here. This should start printing in a couple of minutes. This room right here, if you're interested, used to be our dark room. Inside here, before technology of computers and everything, we had two people working full-time doing film stripping. 
Inside here, this is a light safe room using red or yellow lights depending on the film applications. There are two people working in here all the time. Everything that they did at that time is now done on a computer by one person inside of the office there. Kick on the conveyor belt. And there were just a few envelopes that we printed. This is for one of the companies that we print for. Quickly, just like that, they're ready to box. Their customer can have their envelopes in just a few in a matter of a few minutes. Something else that we added just recently was the ability to print hardcover books. Using some handy equipment like this, we can keep up with some of the bigger online companies that are out there. We have a lot of college students come in printing their portfolios. This is for a photo class over at Orange Coast College. Wedding books, thesis, thesis, thesis from students at UCI. Or if you want to sell a multi-million dollar building, you can put all the information right inside of here. This is just something that we added to our portfolio probably within the last five years, and this was added probably in the last three years. Coming through, in this room right here is where we can print large format printing, anywhere up to 44 inches wide by just about as long as you might need it. Anything from canvas prints, banners, photos. It's all photo quality, so it's excellent quality on Epson papers. They claim it can last up to 50 years. I haven't been alive that long to find out if that really happens. Plate making, that's something else that's new, that's advanced in the last couple years. This piece of machinery that we're using here is less than three months old and it, repla it replaced about $160,000 worth of equipment that occupied this entire room. Something that works as simple as what looks like an inkjet printer and it works similar to what an old fax machine would. Right here we have our layout. For example, this is a four pager. We'll see this job later as we fold it in the back room. We're using our imposition software back here. Within a matter of seconds, I can drag it from my desktop to have it back here. 10 years ago, we would have had two people in the stripping room here working on this job for about half a day just to get it to this point. So through technology, we've managed to keep our staff low, our quality high, and we're using some of the most technologically advanced equipment in the industry today. Over here we have a foiling machine which is called a sleeker. Sleeking is a form of putting foil on paper using heat and pressure. Before this we would have had to go through making metal plates and working on a letterpress type, fight, type press called a kluge which I'll show you here in a few minutes. We start with a piece of paper which has been printed off of our HP Indigo press. From there we run it through this machine here. It foils the paper, goes back through the indigo press. Now we have multicolored foils and printing on the same sheet in just a matter of minutes. Okay, from here we can take going to the press room. Over here we have a Heidelberg two color Quick Master duplicator press. This is Mark, one of our longtime employees of uh, 40, how many years? 44 years. That's a long time. What this press does is a different technology, not being digital, it works off of metal and or paper plates. These plates here work on the fact that oil and water don't mix, so wherever you see this, a coat of water goes over it. These ink rollers inside of here, put a coating of ink on it, and out comes the printed material. Printing on this press requires an ink, such as a, li a liquid ink, such as these here. This is just a black ink. Using inks like this, a little bit goes a long way. Most of our inks are soy based, but this is, about, this is enough ink here to print several business cards. As you can see, a little bit of ink goes a long way. And it gets on your fingers and makes a mess. Okay, moving, moving on over here. The max sheet size on this press is about 11 and a half by 17 and a half. This is also a Heidelberg press, but this is a 2029 sheet. Using the same technology, this is just a larger version of what you see over here. Of course, the plates on this one are quite a bit larger. All the pieces have been removed, so we can move on from there. Here is our HP Indigo press. This is one of our newer additions. This is our third digital press that we've had. This is one of the most technological advanced presses in the market today. 
It can compete with offset printing. You can see a Christmas card can be printed four, four colors on both sides in just a matter of seconds. This is John, another employee who's been here for 20, 30 years? 35. 35 years, uh, my mistake. So John's only been here 35 years. I've only been here about 25 years. I'm the new guy. This is all controlled by a computer here. Any job here can be sent from the, my desk out in the front right to the press. We can monitor what's being printed on our cell phones as well as on the computer itself. Right here you can see the sheets coming out. Four Christmas cards on each sheet. Only your hire is probably about 20 sheets for this entire job. This whole job will probably take five minutes to print at the most, if even. It's finished already. Uh, at the front counter, this is the, la the lady who just left with her husband just a few minutes ago as well. Within just a matter of minutes, we can have the jobs sent to the computer and printed. This is our cutter, one of the things people like to watch moving. You have a job that maybe you can cut there, John? And as dangerous as it is, it's completely safe. If you only use one hand, you're not gonna get hurt. John will show you what happens when you use both hands here. So using pressure and an extremely sharp blade, this thing can cut through paper and just cuts through it just like warm butter. Nice and easy. So as we saw, this is all the modern technology we have in printing. Now we'll take you back and see something that's been printing for in this shop for over 50 years. We call this the Kluge room. This is where we keep our Klugies. This is about a 1984 model. So this is the newer model of the press. We use this for foiling, embossing, die cutting, scoring. It's a multi-purpose work, workhorse. This machine here, with the exception, we uh, added these guards on here in the last in the last year, one of the OSHA requirements we had to have, is about a 1954 model. In the front office where we started, the entire office was Hoover printing. Jim Hoover started doing business cards on this press in 1964 at, as he told me, $8 a thousand. The way he ran these was handset type, which means these lead letters are formed in this chase right here to form a business card. I've had the misfortune of doing one business card like this since I've been here. Since then, we've changed to using polymer plates. These plates can produce almost as sharp as an image as what these do right here. For an example of what letterpress can do, this is a two-color letterpress job right here for a wedding invite. If you can get the right angle, you can see the depth of the letter, how it's pressed inside of the card. This is what people are wanting to see today. 50 years ago when Jim Hoover was doing this, if you showed an impression on the paper, that was the incorrect way to do letterpress. But this is what people are looking for today. This piece has also been edge painted, one of the other things that we do here. This press right here is something people like to see, is it running? What I like about this press is if I've been here for 25 years and I also do some of the maintenance on the press, it has one switch and one brake. Speed and efficiency, this machine will run up to 2,000 sheets per hour, which is relatively s slow compared to some of the equipment out there. And then to stop the machine, just kind of step on the brake. I'm not all that heavy, so I got to kind of get all my weight up on it. All this machine was doing at that time was uh, putting what they call a channel crease, a letter press score. So when the card is folded, you have a nice clean edge. So this machine right here, we use this for scoring, letter pressing. We don't do foil on here, but some die cutting on here. Example of foil, I showed you the sleeking machine back there. That's a modern. That just got installed last week. That's relative, that's very new for our shop. Foiling and embossing requires plates and dies. This brass plate, and a set of these dies, all of this is required to apply foil and emboss to end up with something like this. Using our sleeker and our digital press, we can knock that off in minutes 
opposed to ours. So here you're seeing some of the history of different types of printing, what started Hoover printing, and what we have today is all this modern technology. This newsletter, it's more cost effective to run these on an, on an offset press as opposed to digital because this order is for 28 to 30,000 different pieces. So it's more cost effective to run them like that. When the piece is finished, it goes inside the mail. So to get those things inside of your envelope, we could take the time and fold these by hand, but you can see that would take quite a, quite a while. We have this machine right here that'll print about 15 to 20,000 sheets, fold 15 to 20,000 sheets per hour. So mind your ears. So in the time of about 60 seconds, we printed, folded about 200 sheets. So you see high speed, a whole lot better than folding by hand. Some of the other things we do, this is our bindery area. For smaller jobs, we do our bindery in-house. This isn't typical of how you would staple something, but called saddle stitching for doing a book. So what that does there, if you have a book, it'll staple the two pieces together to form a book. A lot of our jobs that we punch holes in will be for hundreds, even thousands of pieces. So as you can see, nice clean hole drilled through multiple pieces of paper in just a matter of seconds. Back here you hear a compressor that, that works for our uh, digital press. Our digital press is, uh, has a lot of requirements. It uses a lot of energy. It uses, we have to bring in transformers just to run this thing. 400 volt DC is what it runs off of. This machine right here, it just keeps on running off of whatever power you feed it. That's what I love about it. 1954, the only thing we've had to change on it was add a few guards to stay safe. Some of the other things we do here at Hoover Printing, we can put in large format. If you're from Costa Mesa, you might know where this area is, Santa Ana Airfield. A copy of this can be found over at the OCC Veterans, Veterans Lounge. That's what these were printed for. This was just one that had a, a few wrinkles in it and wasn't acceptable for selling. I think that covers just about everything. Any questions?